Alright, so I'm going to touch on something that I... Well, I'm going to talk more in depth about something that I touched on in my last video, which is not being an, an expressive person, but not being ashamed of it. Like, just being sincere in my lack of expressiveness. Like, no courtesy smiles, you know, no anything like that. Um, and... I, I used to really hate this about myself and it used to be one of the primary reasons where I primary reasons that I disliked myself because I thought of myself oh I'm so boring and I'm so uh, you know unlikable because I thought that it was just a really bad character trait but over the years I got used to it and um now, finally, like, today, I I've accepted it, you know, as a thing, but I still kind of didn't like it, but I didn't really care, um, before today, and I was just like, eh, and I would still try to spruce it up a little bit, and just in, in public and stuff, not really here as much, but in public, try to spruce it up, and, but now I feel like I can say, you know what? I'm just not a very expressive person. I'm just not. I don't feel like smiling when uh, when most people do. <laughs> you know? Most people feel like smiling, I don't. And the reason why is because I'm not amused by what people are saying. Like, you know, a lot of people, they say things and they, they t talk about... Um, Excuse the TV, there's TV in the background, it's not mine, but anyway, they just, they, people say things and they all get really amused by each other, like if somebody says, wow, I had the best burger today at uh, this, at X Burgers, and I just made that up, X Burgers, and so they're, people just love hearing about other people having sense pleasures of all kinds, you know, I just listened to this great song or, or whatever, or it seems that way to me, when I just really don't care, <laughs> I just don't care, you know, and so I don't have to act like I care, and I don't have to, I don't have to get down on myself for not caring, and I don't have to get down on myself for not acting like I care, you know, it's just, it's just, sincerity is the most important thing, and, and one obstacle to sincerity is shame, and I was ashamed to, to, to not care, and I wanted to fit in, and, uh, you know, a few other things. And I'm not saying that I'm going to be a, a dick, <laughs> you know, I'm not saying that I'm going to be like, I don't care, you know, I do, I do that sometimes with, with people, with the close people to me get that, sometimes, but, um, I'm just not going to put on a show, and now finally, the sh like today, finally the shame has just gone away. And I just, I don't feel the need. I don't feel the need. And it's great. It's great. Because I feel like I'm fully accepting myself now for, like, the fullness of who I am. You know? You know, I'm not very expressive. I'm not very happy, typically. I'm not very, you know, uh, outgoing. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not good at making friends. These things are all okay. They're all, it's all okay. And I don't have to say, I don't have to add to that and be like, and that means I suck. I don't have to do that. I don't suck. I'm confident that I don't suck. I actually really like myself. I'm in, sure I'm insecure, but I, I do really like myself. You know? And so, I think I feel like 
because I, or I felt like I, because I wasn't living up to this standard that perhaps I shouldn't like myself or I shouldn't act like I like myself or I should try to cater to people. I don't have to do that. And so in my strange, unexpressive, uh, sad way, I can be completely content with that and and just enjoy it. Enjoy enjoy me being me, living in this world to the best of my ability as me. You know? Live in this world as me. I'm already me. Just live in it as me authentically, like a full full on John experience. Alright. See ya.